Christina Vasco and to you are watching Motherpreneur TV where we kiss our excuses goodbye to cozy up to a life we love. Now have you noticed that whenever you feel really good about yourself and you're excited about who you are, what you want and what you stand for, then life offers you exactly everything you wished for, you asked for and you dreamed about. Yes, this is called the Law of Attraction. Now, my guest today, she can tell us everything, what we need to know about the Universal Law of Attraction and how, yes, we can put ourselves into that state of excitement so that we attract, that we get for what we ask for. It is the amazing, fabulous and also talented Colleen Winya. <coughs> Enjoy. Ah, that's okay. the first thing. Deep oh, breath. Connecting. Connecting yeah. is our main goal, right? We're here to educate and help others. Right. To expand ourselves. Nice. Colleen, thank you so much for taking the time being here. Thank you. I'm very excited. Thanks for having me, Christina. <laughs> Tell me. You're a holistic energy healer. What is a holistic energy healer? Great question. To me, holistic means all-encompassing. And the whole point in all of this is quantum healing. We want to work with the whole person, mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical, to integrate and to uh, relinquish or transform those old beliefs that we've trapped in the body mm -hmm. that are holding us back and we keep making the same old choices. Yeah, because one of the approaches or tactics, or I don't know how to call it, is you use the universal law of attraction. And this is the reason why I asked you, because I wanted to dig deeper. The law of attraction is a law of nature. We are always, we are all energy beings and what's happening is we're all vibrating at a certain frequency. So that which you are feeling on the inside, the level of greatness or joy, um, is what you're going to be attracting on the outside. We are always attracting what's happening into our lives, what is going on in our lives as a result of how we're feeling on the inside. So with energy, Okay, mm -hmm. energy is always vibrating at a certain frequency. Mm -hmm. So when you it's happy, yeah. yeah, yeah, you know when you're happy, how do you feel? Awesome, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Good. So when you're happy, Christina, you are vibrating at a higher note. Mm -hmm. You know, at, on, a, on a, the emotional scale, mm -hmm. you're vibrating uh, closer to a 10 than to a 1. Mm -hmm. And for that very reason of feeling good, or happy, you are attracting and will attract things into your life that are more in alignment with your dreams and your passions. How can I raise my vibration? How can I, yes, attract more? Christina, there are endless ways to raise our vibration. Endless. That means we can be very creative in our experience. One of the things that I love is getting a massage. How many times do you feel better after a massage? How about a funny movie? How simple is that? Putting on one of your favorite flicks, you know, or sitting there and going with your child, you know, or what about playing in the park? What about going for a run? Woo! I'm a huge fitness advocate. And for me, one of the fastest ways to change how I'm feeling is to hike up that mountain or to go to that gym or to go rock climbing, right? You're going to reach and you're going to stretch your body. You're going to integrate your body. You're going to use your body and your mind. So when you want to feel better, we can tell ourselves all the things we want with our mind. But if we haven't integrated it with our body, we can jump up in the air. You know, one of those little trampolines at home. If you're a, a man and you have a team that you play sports on, go out there, go golfing, go hit that ball, do whatever it takes to feel good and be creative. Practice. Try out a couple of new things. I love that. Meet a, meet a fear. Now, here's something interesting. When we raise our vibration, I can't count the number of times 
where I was feeling a bit low and I was wondering, what do I need to do to create more success in my business or more joy in my relationships? All right, okay, yeah. And mm, feeling a bit, mm. so, oh, go exercise. That's been my thing. So I go exercise or I go hit the mountain. Well, being in nature, you feel better right away. Right. Get the endorphins going, you feel better right away. Do you know how many times I've gone off the mountain or left the gym, checked my phone, and there's these, you know, new business clients that want. <laughs> right. well, what did I do? Mm. I took care of me. So you must take care of you. We all must take care of ourselves. Now, going to the other person who wants, wants, wants something so badly, it depends on the purpose, the, um, what's the word, there's a word, it depends on the objective in behind it. What's the reasoning for that want? Right. And, what, and if there's that neediness to help resolve, if there's a wound in my heart, and if you be my boyfriend, and you come in my life, and you love me, and you, you fill up this hole of my heart, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be an amazing woman because of you, mm -hmm. yeah, they're going to run for the hills. <laughs> <laughs> because guess what? It's my responsibility in, in the end to fill up my own heart first. First, yeah. yeah. And, and as I fill up my heart, <laughs> then you'll come and be attracted to me. So you're like, I don't want to be around this person. But you will, we're, we're, we're magnetizing, we're, we're magnets. We're, you and me are vibrating at the same time. You know, we, you and I have come into our, each other's lives. Right now, right here on this day, because of some magnetism reason, or some magnetic reason, that we're ready to connect. And so um, it, it's really fun because it's hard. It's hard when we love someone, we want someone in our lives, and they don't want us. I believe that when we go through kind of, we're chosen that experience so we can be shown what's called contrasting, mm -hmm. right? How does one know what joy feels like unless they know what sadness feels like? How do you know what success is? How does it feel like if you don't go through... Yes. And how many successful, incredible people on the planet have been bankrupt mm -hmm. and then come out on top? They learned something in that. And if they hadn't gone through that, they wouldn't have. But then you... Maybe. Yeah. yeah. But it's not necessarily that we have to go down. We have to be down at the bottom in order to rise. Correct. So it's not a prerequisite, is it? Absolutely not. Why do we do that? Why do we create those things? Well, this is where, where um, our compiled uh, cellular belief systems have, um, we've, bought, we've bought into stories, right? Stories? Like it, totally. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We have to change our stories. So that's what I mean by choice. There's many ways to do this. There's many different ways, and it's not necessarily overnight. Mm -hmm. It can be. <laughs> we can enlighten ourselves overnight if we choose to. Myself, I feel like I've been through, I'm a late bloomer. <laughs> Walk us through here. So if you want something, you're on a mission, you did your vision board, you want to, um, yes. you, you've done your goal sheet. Let's say, for example, you want to be published in Huffington Post and you look at the vision board, vision board, vision board. Mm -hmm. So how do you make this vision board reality using the laws of attraction? What's coming to me right now is bringing it down. We can think about it in our mind, and we all know, uh, we're all learning, that thought creates. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's a missing um, piece that uh, my clients have realized that they're not uh, in touch with, and they, they want to get it, and myself included in my journey. And where my missing piece was always was, was the connecting the dots in here. And what I mean here, I mean in the torso, you know, in, in the rest of the body. We can think all we want, but we do need to um, bring it home into the body. So there's things we can do to integrate this information so our body believes it as much as our mind. How? Awesome, I like that, how? But for me, my version has been, one of the number one things is the breath. Breathe, there's a breathing technique I've worked with um, from day one, more than I've worked with everything else, and it's called rebirthing. Mm -hmm. do, and, do you want to show us or tell us? Uh, sure, absolutely. Uh, very simple, the big complex word, sounds like we're being mm -hmm. reborn, because we really are. <laughs> um, it's like this, it is um, 
drawing it from the belly up to the chest, up to the heart, and it's through the mouth. So it's like <sighs> through, uh, <clears throat> in so not, through the mouth, in through and the mouth, out. and out through the mouth. And here's the catch. <sighs> yeah. You're breathing in. You're thinking about the in breath. Yeah. Uh, so it just seems like a bit of a controlling because you have to think about it. Okay, breathe. Yeah. The out breath is letting go. So that's the difference. So it's like this. <sighs> you can make a noise. <sighs> letting go of what bothers you, of whatever. <sighs> letting go of anything. It feels like that. So. <sighs> and this is the breath work. Pro um, procedure you know, that we, yeah. that you might do. I, I work very intuitively, but you might you might do it for forty five minutes. It actually it's not that difficult to attract to live according to the law of attraction. No. Wow, you said that beautifully. Oh, yeah, I I would agree. Uh, growing up over the years, when I personally experienced a lot of trauma, uh, oh, life is difficult. I am now realizing. What you just said is actually not difficult. It's just that we have to make a choice to think differently than we I like that. Oh, thank you so much, Colleen. I do appreciate your time and your insight and educating us on the law of attraction. Awesome girl. Woohoo! Thank you. Uh -huh. Go out Duh. today and live your 10. Yes, I will. I already went for a run this morning, so I was pretty oh sorry. one quick thing yeah. it's something you can do any moment any time almost anywhere except for when you're driving tell me just jump up and down ah seriously yeah yeah use your body when you're feeling stuck yeah. take a deep breath in jump up and down throw your hands in the air and i know when i'm feeling ooh and down i don't oh, you don't want to do that yeah. but if you really actually do it and if you put a smile on your face try to keep being upset when you put a smile on your face like it. And sit there with your friend for a minute and smile. Like it. Woo! <laughs> isn't Woo! she just great? And wasn't that great information? I mean, how simple is that? Put a smile on your face and jump up and down. Yeah. <laughs> you don't make it difficult to your mother for newer to me. Now, I'm pretty sure you experienced the law of attraction too, haven't you? Now, we would like to hear your short story or your comment about when did it click? When was your defining moment when you realized, oh, holy moly, that actually works? Please leave us the comments below the video. Also, if you enjoy this video as much as we enjoyed making it, and if you enjoyed the message Colleen shared, please share it with your network of friends. Also, you can subscribe to weekly episodes here on Motherpreneur TV. And with this, I say goodbye. Thank you so much for spending time with us. I look forward to seeing you again next week. And until I do, remember, we are more than just mothers. So, no, we are an inspiration to ourselves, to our families, and to the world.